to begin removing bike lanes in Algiers. As Andres Suentes reports, some biking groups are worried, though, about safety impacts, while some neighbors applaud this decision. Algiers neighbors, you're going to have to get used to this. Crews manning this machine have started stripping up the bike lane paint. And over on Newton Street, a road covered in protective bike lane bollards now lies barren with those ballers loaded up into trucks. This is part of the unanimous decision from the city council to remove bike lanes from Algiers, and advocates worry what that means for bike safety. I might have to put up a ghost bike over in Algiers now. Clark Thompson helped put up these white painted bikes memorializing riders killed in traffic accidents. He worries what biking in Algiers will look like with 2.2 miles of bike path taken away. The League of American Bicyclists says per capita New Orleans has more bike deaths than any other U.S. city. So we're talking about many, many drivers who are going to be injured now because that lane has been removed. The unanimous decision by the council came after neighbors complained about the lack of their input in the installation, as well as the aesthetics, the lack of parking, and the traffic buildup. Maybe we have uh, public servants that let their enthusiasm for biking get in the way of representing the public. How do you prioritize your parking over one person making a hospital visit? Groups like Bike Easy hope for more bicycle infrastructure that aligns with what the public wants. I think it, we need to just make sure that all the communities are included and they understand this is about connecting people and connecting communities. It's not just about one community alone. In the meantime, advocates say Algiers bikers and drivers will have to be more cautious while on the road. Be predictable, you know, make sure you signal, don't ride re recklessly. Now these bike lanes and bollards have been in place fully in the community for about two years now. And now the mayor's office says that the total removal process would take around 52 days.